Hey guys, so today I have this lunch for you guys. So here I have um, green capsicum, that's how they call it I think, and red paprika, I have onions, and I also have fresh coriander in here, baked in olive oil. Yeah, you can add some salt if you'd like or something else. And here I have my quinoa, I think. So this is what I'm having for lunch together with my daughter. Not too overcooked for me, but also not too raw. Just somewhere in between. Ah. So and here I have some leftover shawarma from yesterday. This is vegan shawarma and here I have deep frozen pumpkin and black beans and tomato. I'm gonna put that in later so I'll show you guys. So here guys I've added in the pumpkin, the frozen pumpkin and with tomatoes and yeah I'm gonna let that cook for a while. It's pretty healthy. So now I'm gonna add this uh, green stalk. So it's vegan as well. I would first start with one teaspoon and then depending on how much food you've made. So for me, this would be like a teaspoon, I think. Yeah, you can add that, you can add salt, you can add any other herbs you have at home that you really love. I have also added in added in the leftover shawarma from yesterday. So nothing goes to waste in this house, guys. Nothing. Now I've added in the the quinoa, so the quinoa. So I'm gonna let this sit. I would say I will give it like seven, eight minutes, guys, and then it, it, it should be done. This is not an, a hard meal to do. It's a very quick meal. We all know how long we have to cook our greens and everything else. And um, and everything uh, like the quinoa, like the quinoa on the packaging, also it also says how for how long you should cook it. So it's pretty easy, guys. Any Anybody can do this. And it's very healthy and kids would love this as well. I have also added in the black beans and I added those like I think after four minutes I added this and these don't have to cook for long as well because they are healthy and everything that I'm using here is um, organic. So this is it. I'm gonna mix that together with the rest. So we are going to have our lunch. Let me see if Zuri uh, likes this. Zuri! 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 Mmm, that's nice! Ooh. I decided to let her just play and feed her at the same time. She loves it, guys. She loves, 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 loves it. <laughs> Zuri, 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 hey, Zuri, come and finish your food. We are having this together for lunch. You have to try this for your kids. It's really nice. Zuri, come and have, come and have some more. Come, hop here. Zuri, hop here. Come back and happy Naima. I told her to come and have some. Zuri! Up here! Zuri! Cake! Cake! Cake, Zuri! Mama, happy name! Mmm! Ah! Ah! I'm gonna eat it! Ah! 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 Ah!
so nice, Zuri. Hey. So that was it, guys. Try and make this at home for your little ones. I'm sure they will love it. For lunch, for dinner, it doesn't really matter as long as it's healthy. So, bye, guys. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I cook my vegan pasta. Now, I'm also going to use uh, vegan mincemeat let's just say that so to cook uh, to make the pasta so let me show you what I've done so guys these are the mixed greens it's a lot of greens you can use um, Italian mixed greens already packaged uh, you can buy that at the supermarket all types of greens guys uh, depending on what you like you can use any greens you like to make this as long uh, or you can just make your usual pasta and um, then add the vegan minced meat so let me show you that so this is the vegan minced uh, meat that I use and um, yeah this is how it looks if you prefer meat that's also just fine but for us I prefer to make the pasta with vegan <coughs> minced meat. It tastes really, really good. You, for the kids, kids don't even know the difference, so then it really doesn't matter. I'm going to use this tomato sauce. You can use any one of your choice. It doesn't have to be ex the exact same. This is the one I use. It's also vegan as well. It's quite a big bottle, actually. So I'm gonna pour all of this in, but I'll show you later. So these are the mixed greens, and uh, what makes this um, pasta of mine taste really, really good is um, I don't think you're going to believe this, but the coriander gives it just what it needs yeah so now i've also added uh, they call it curcuma i would say uh, turmeric turmeric i'm sorry guys so i've added turmeric two teaspoons two tips teaspoons of red paprika just paprika uh, paprika powder and uh two teaspoons of mixed herbs with not only herbs, also salt, but don't forget to add in the coriander. The coriander is really, really, really good. Makes it really smell really good as well. So uh, I don't know. It's just it's just what I like doing. Yeah, you can also add other things that you like. Uh, so the greens that I'm using here were already packaged, so I didn't have to cut everything, and that saves time as well. So guys, after everything has been cooked down, as you can see, there's not much left. It has all been cooked down. After that has happened, you pour in the tomato sauce. Yeah, all of it. And then I'm going to mix that together so I'm going to leave this to cook down for 10 more minutes so now it's time to pour in the mincemeat the vegan mincemeat yeah I'm going to pour in about two packets mix everything together and let this cook down for five to seven minutes. You could add in a little bit of water. You could do that. 
I think I'm going to add in just a little bit of water, half a cup, or something like that. Not too much, nothing. See how good it looks? Also tastes really good. So don't let this dry dry up. It needs to keep that moisture because later on you're going to add in the the pasta. You could do that or you could just keep it separate and just do it while you're having it. So you can mix it or depending on what you, you like. So this is it guys. This is going to be our dinner. The kids love this. And yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. We would love to have you here. So yeah, help us grow and do some more great things. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.